Hi guys, this is the second video of a series of projects based on 8051 microcontroller family that I used to build back in 2011 and 2012. All of these projects are parts of experiments that I used to do while I was learning microcontrollers. So let's move on to the project. This project is a frequency counter with a range from 1 Hz to about 100 kHz. The performance of the system is accurate when used for low frequency values. Let's play the simulation of the project and see its output. So before playing the simulation, I want to tell you that I'm using this timer 0 to count the pulses and I'm using this signal generator to generate the signals and the oscilloscope to visualize the input waves. So let's play it. So we can open this signal generator. So we have given some input to the to our microcontroller and the input frequency is 14 Hz here. Let's increase the frequency first to see the performance of the system. So now the input is 140 Hz and the output is 140 you can see. Let's change some input values. Input is 520 and output is 520. We can change the range of the input frequency. So now the input frequency is 5.2k and while simulation it takes some time for the system to update the values and now we can see that the output is also 5200 hertz. Now we can increase the frequency values and we can change the frequency values but the higher the frequencies in during the simulation it will take a lot of time for the system to update the value. So let's put some higher values and we'll uh, take a look on the code first. So this is the code that I developed for this frequency counter. The concept of frequency counter comes from the definition of frequency itself, which is events occurred within one second. So in order to develop the frequency meter, the easiest approach that we can think of is to wait for one second while we record or count the events and display the output on the screen. Practically we know that the execution of the statements in microcontroller takes some time that depends on the architecture and the crystal connected. Here we are using 12 MHz crystal to make calculations easier. So we need to generate some delay less than one second, which when adds with the delay of execution of instructions will give us one second delay and meanwhile we count the pulses from the input pin. Here I wrote a program for 50 millisecond delay using timer 1. This is the programming of, this is the setting of the register values for 50 milliseconds. And I put it in a loop that executes this delay for 15 times while the input pulse is counted through timer 0, which is set in 16 bit mode. This is the loop that executes the timer 1 delay 15 times. And we are using timer 0 to count the pulses. So we turn the timer 0 on, which is in the counter mode actually. And we are actually generating here about one second of delay or whatever the delay value is to give the output as accurate as possible. Okay, in order to make the time delay thus the output value as accurate as possible, I generated another loop with hold commands. This is another loop with hold commands. The hold commands are already defined at the top of the code while uh, in fact I'm using the entrance library. So we can fine tune the output by changing the value of this loop. The rest of the code is for displaying data on the LCD. So let's see the change in the values. We can see that we set 96 kHz frequency and we are getting 96 kHz output almost. We can even increase the input values and the output will change but it will take uh, some time in simulation. So I will not do here. So for higher frequencies. I developed another code where we do not care about the accuracy in units and tens so the code is much simplified and left for the viewers and students to understand while I will demonstrate the output of, of the another code that I developed for higher frequencies. So this is the output of the another program that I developed so let's change some input values here. So here is the output of our system. We set the input 
frequency as 102 kilohertz we are getting the output equals to 101 kilohertz which is still acceptable for me this program also takes care about the scaling and automatic unit selection so this is all for this video the code of both of the programs will be uploaded on github thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it bye